This is a demonstration of a VTDAO web form I built using Cold Fusion. Uh, it's built around the Bootstrap framework and uses jQuery uh, to make AJAX calls against the VTDAO agent and non-agent APIs to control the call session in the browser. Now there are a lot of advantages to creating your own web forms for VTDAO campaigns. Uh, the two biggest reasons in my mind are the ability, first of all, to apply business rules to the call flow and the call logic. And the second is you have a lot more robust validation available to you uh, when you're creating your own web form versus the straight up form functionality in VG Dial. Uh, let's illustrate that here. Uh, let's just go down to a question to kind of kind of drive that home. So let's say that the, the agent is on the phone and the respondent uh, doesn't know the answer to, to the question that was just posed. Well, business logic could dictate that if they don't know the answer, then we're gonna prompt the agent to ask the question in a different way and maybe get an answer that way. Uh, so this is something that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do in the VGDAO form functionality, but is you know readily available to you to build your own in your own web form. Uh, we also have validation tools available to us. So for example, I'm gonna try to type in some characters here, some letters. Well, this is asking for this, um, the total amount needs to be an integer. So we're gonna put in an integer and you can see it also applied not only validation, but it also applied the business rules because now we know a number or a total amount. And so the agent doesn't have to and we can get rid of those other answers. So it kind of helps guide correct answers or guide your agent to making correct decisions and having more uh, accurate information in the data that you're collecting. Uh, another kind of interesting thing um, that wouldn't be possible in VGDial using just the straight up VGDial form is the manner in which we uh, set up this workflow for the agents. Now normally uh, we usually get one record or one record or one lead, lead record usually only has one phone number or uh, person associated with the record. In this case, uh, we were delivered up to five different contacts for each record. Uh, additionally, um, there was a need for the agent to be able to dictate which order who was gonna get called next based on the respondent's information that they were getting. So say for example, uh, the dialer at first we set up the dialer to first dial uh, the CIO, and let's say, for example, the CIO says, I'm too busy, please call my IT manager. Um, within the web form here, the agent can go ahead and execute that um, without having to uh, do anything or go back to VG Dial and dial through VG Dial. It can all be done here in the web form more efficiently. Um, the way we had this campaign set up was to uh, have a standalone database, a customer relationship database that sits separately from Vici Dial. We only sent two things over to Vici Dial for this list. We sent just the uh, vendor lead code in our CRM and we sent the phone number that we want to dial initially. In most cases it was the CIO or if we didn't have that information we dial the receptionist number and try to get a referral. Um, so um, that's the way the call flow worked here. So when Vici Dial pops this web form we do a lookup in that CRM to pull in all, this, all of this additional information as far as what are the additional contacts and what's the status of the, uh, of the survey that we're taking. Uh, so with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off and then we'll uh, come back with a, uh, a live call so you can see how it actually works. All right, so let's go ahead and spin up a live call so you can see how uh, the web script uses the agent and non-agent APIs to allow the agent to control the call flow uh, and the call session with, from within the browser. So let's go ahead and dial the number and we'll pop our web form. Being routed. Answer the call. And uh, now we're in the call with Jeff. Um, so we're just to show you that we can control the call session from within the browser, I'm gonna go ahead and park the call so you'll be able to hear the uh, hold music come on. And then we'll go ahead and grab that call. And let's just kind of go through the workflow that the agent would go through. So let's say we're on the call with Jeff and just gives us some of the information that we need, but he uh, can't give us all the information. So he refers us on to his CIO, Eric. 
So we can wrap up the call with Jeff. Uh, we just go ahead and hang up the call and then we can set a status for Jeff. He can stop the interview. Uh, we'll hang up this call. And now, because Jeff referred us on to Eric, the agent, all the agent has to do is click dial to dial uh, Eric. So now we're going to be on the line with Eric. And again, we could do all the same things like parking the call uh, and then grab that call back. Uh, and then again, we could finish or complete our survey with Eric. Uh, once we've done that, we can hang up the call, set it as a complete interview. And then we are able to go ahead and submit that survey and we've completed this record. Uh, so uh, hopefully this was a good demonstration of how you can utilize custom web forms in Vici Dial uh, by using the agent and non-agent APIs. If you have any questions about how it was implemented in this, in this uh, solution or uh, if you need a solution of your own, please reach out to me and I'll help you when I can. Thanks.